Hi everyone, today's headlines. One day workshop on decentralized renewable energy technology is held. Union Minister Gadkari approves in principle about 500 km highway in eastern Nagaland. One arrested with illegal arms in Mainam C. Perrin district. Discrepancies to tune rupees 300 crore IT department on rates at Tapsi Panu, Anurag Kapsiak and others. Marrying the rape victim, a wrong message. NLA Committee for Restarting Vasuho Cement Plant Nagaland 5 new COVID-19 cases and 2 new recoveries News in details One day workshop on decentralized renewable energy technologies held The district administration MON in collaboration with Clean Energy Access Network conducted a one day workshop on decentralized renewable energy technologies on March 3, 2021 at the DRDA Conference Hall MON Clean is a Delhi-based non-profit organization which aims to support, unify and grow the decentralized clean energy sector in India. Board member Clean Faisal Mustafa stated that the team's objective in MON was to explore the various clean energy potential in the district and provide guidance and support to all stockholders. Union Minister Gadkari approves in principle about 500 km highways in eastern Nagaland. Union Minister for Road Transport and Highways Nidin Gadkari has approved in principle about 500 km of more highways north-south corridor in eastern Nagaland between Mon and Avanku and east-west corridor connecting Twinsang, Noklek, Kifri and Zunabato to Dimapur, informed the governor of Nagaland yesterday. The governor in a release said, in order to mitigate the huge connectivity deficit of eastern Nagaland and remote districts, we have got thanks to Nidin Gadkari ji, Honorable Minister for Road Transport and Highway, about 500 km of more highways, north-south corridor in eastern Nagaland between Mon and Avanku, and east-west corridor connecting Twinsang, Noklek, Kifri and Zunabato to Dimapur. One arrested with illegal arms in Manam C. Perrin district. Security forces in a joint operation with police apprehended an individual with illegal arms in general area, Mainam C, Perrin District, Nagaland on March 2, 2021. The PRO HQ IGAR North informed that the security forces in a joint operation with state police apprehended an individual based on a specific input and recovered 1.22 mm rifle with magazine and 36 live round of point 22 mm live ammunition near Mainamsi Perrin district Nagaland discrepancies to tune of rupees 300 crore IT department on rates at Tapsi Panu Anurag Kashyap and others the income tax department has issued a statement on the rates conducted at the properties of actor Tapsi Panu filmmaker Anurag Kashyap producer Vigash Bal and others at a various location on Wednesday saying that discrepancies to the tune of rupees 300 crore have been found. Searches were also conducted at location associated with film producer Madhu Mantena. Marrying the rape victim, a wrong message. Chief Justice of India S.A. bought the question to a rape accused if he was ready to marry his victim has rightly attracted much criticism. Rape is a heinous crime that violates the mind, body and dignity of the victim, leaving her traumatized for life. It calls for exemplary deterrent action against the perpetrator and marriage can under no circumstances be a penance or punishment for this unpardonable act. In the instant case, a man from Maharashtra has gauged tight and repeatedly raped a 16-year-old girl and few years ago under intimidation, including threats of throwing acid on her face. The fact that the girl pursued the case from the session court to the Supreme Court is proof enough that she was not looking for closure in the form of marriage. But for prosecution and punishment of the accused, marriage can never be a con condonation for crimes against women and the Chief Justice remarks could send a wrong message that anybody can get away with rape by subsequently getting married to the victim. NLA Committee for Restarting Vasiho Cement Plant the Nagaland Legislative Assembly Committee on Public Undertaking 2020-21 has recommended that the mini cement plant in Vezaho Peak be operated or run by the state government instead of being privatized. 
The government has the manpower and caliber to operate the MCP and COPU felt that it is one of the public sector undertaking with great potential to generate revenue for the state, noted the committee headed by the MLA and advisor Horticulture and Border Affairs Matung Yantang. The COPU 87, 88, 89 and 90 reports adopted on September 10, 2020 were presented at the 7th session of the 13th Nagaland Legislative Assembly on February 15. The deliberation on Vesahov MCP is contained in the 87th and 88th report which examine the audit report Comptroller and Auditor General of India for the year 2013 and 14 pertaining to the Nagaland State Mineral Development Corporation Limited under the Geology and Mining Department. Nagaland, 5 new COVID-19 cases and 2 new recoveries. 5 new COVID-19 cases were detected in Nagaland on March 4 while two new recoveries were reported from the state on the same day. The Health Department Bulletin informed that the new cases were all from armed forces or security personnel. The total caseload of the state as of Thursday is 12,210. With 11,951 recoveries so far, the number of active cases in the state is now 15. That's all for now. To get the status news, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.